Hi everyone. Uh, in last class, we learned how to create for, uh, vortex buffer object and how to add attributes to to vortex. Okay. Today we will learn the primitive assembly assembly stage. So the primitive assembly stage is the part of uh, the graphics pipeline of OpenGL ES and WebGL and it is it, it, it can be controlled by the GL draw command so we will learn that okay if you if you wanted to, to practice with with source code then you can download it from git address kl server in my project folder so so and with the VVO. So I start the class. Okay, last class we learned that how to send the vertex data in the vertex buffer object in GPU. So I said that, yeah, so left part is the CPU side and right side is GPU side. Okay, so so vertex buffer is memory located in GPU part, and then so we need to to send it into vertex shader. So 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 in next step of vertex buffer object is a vertex shader, but but we need to understand the primitive assembly first, and then we can learn vertex shader. Because vertex shader is related to transformation and we need to learn shading languages. So it is somewhat complex. So I will teach primitive assembly first and then I will teach next time. I will teach the shading language, especially vertex shader and transformation. Okay. So there are three kinds of primitives in, in OpenGL ES and WebGL. One is Point, point, second is lines, third is triangles, okay? Oh, uh, in draw arrays or, and draw element API command, there is a type. I, I will show you. In reference manual, there is mode. And then in, in mode, Point is used for point drawing point, okay? And then lines, line strip and line roof is used for drawing line and triangles, triangle strip and triangle fan is used for draw, draw triangle, okay? How can I use it? Okay, so the point is that it makes for, for point. So each vertex is drawn with point like this. So we can control the the size of point by GL point size in shading vertex shader program or pregnant shader program. Shader program we can control the size of size of point, and then point coordinate can be used for texture coordinate to draw texture point spread. Okay, it, it, it will be explained in later. So in texture, when we learn texture, okay. And then lines, there's a, there's a three kind of lines, primitive assembly. One is the GL lines. Okay, so in case of GL lines, if there is, we give the vertex like V0, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, then we can pair it. And then each pair is line. So in case of GL lines, V1, V0, V1 make line. V2, V3 make line, 4, 5 make line. Okay. Okay. Then if number of vertex is n, then n of second lines will be created. The second mode is GL line strip. GL line strip is connected line, connected lines. Okay. For example, V0, V1, V2, V3, then it is all connected. Start with V0, end with V3. So, if we give n, 
n vertex, then n minus 1 lines will be created. Okay. G line of P is very similar to G line strip, but it is the end point is connected in, for example, V0, V1, V2, V3, V4, and we don't have to reassign the V0 again. So automatically the start point and end point will be connected. So if we give n vertexes, then, then n lines will be created. Okay. Line with this. The, it, it is API function that can be used for set line with. So, for example, I want to draw with two pixel with or three pixel with. Okay, that kind of thing is you can define it. Okay, the unit is pixel. Okay. So the primitive is triangle. Okay. First thing is GL triangles. If there is V0, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, then there is, if there is six vertexes, then we can create tri two triangles. It is very similar to GL lines. Okay. So, N vertex, then one of third number, number of triangles is one of third. Okay. In case of GL triangle strip, then we can make like this. V0, V1, V2 makes triangle, and then V1, V2, V3 make triangles, and V2, V3, V4 make triangles. So if you want to draw like, for, for example, if we draw, if you want to draw drawing like this, this shape, then we can create like this. V0, V1, V2, V3, V4, then automatically triangle is making this this shape. So it is it is possible to make this kind of shape with this the ordering of these vertexes. Okay. So if if the number of vertex is n, then n minus two triangles will be created by GL triangles. Triangles. Sorry, it, it was wrong. Sorry. Triangle. Okay. Triangle strip. Tri be careful. Triangle Z. Triangle strip. Okay. So third mode is GA triangle fan. So it is used for center is first vertex. And then, and then we, we, we will create the one, two, two, three. For example, V0 is, it is kind of a center. And then V1, V2. So V0, V1, V2, and then V0, V2, V3, and V3, V4 will, with V0 is created. So fan is, you know that, fan is, okay, in Korean, it is puche, so it, it is a fan shaped. So for example, if we want to draw circle with field, then circle, then center, we set the V0, and then V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, make this, things and then and then v n and v v n and v zero should should start v one and v n must be same point. If not, it will be it will make this kind of plaque. So then you can draw circle. Okay. So if n vertex is, is input, then n minus two triangles will be created. Okay. It's very easy. Let's do it with our code. In last class, we draw the two triangles with different vertex colors. So, uh, and then we will change the code. Okay. So first thing, we will practice the pointers. Okay. We will, I will change the triangles into pointers. Pointers. Yes. And then I will reload it. Oh, but the problem is, is not possible to see anything. Maybe there is some kind of point, but it is not possible to see it. So, in that case, we need to, ch the, we need to change the size of the vertex. Okay. So, changing size of vertex is possible in, in, in vertex shader. So, 
in vertex shader we can add code to here so gr point sorry point point size red i'll change it into eight okay so and i'll save it and reload it uh oh so the there is some kind of a vertex shader error, so it cannot convert the constant integer to point size medium p plot. So, oh, it should be plotting point. So, I will change it to plotting point. Okay. And change it. Oh, yes, good. We can display the pointers. Okay, good. Let's practice with lines. Let's go to draw then I change it into lines then I can see the lines oh yeah okay good so we learned that we can change the line width by line with this API command so before drawing line you can change the context the parameters with GL line with with the Maybe it will be the same as the pointers. It should be plotting point. I change it into 6.0. Okay. And then reload it. Oops, no change. No change. What's the problem? Okay. And then you should check the, the in Google. So WebGL line oh yeah there is some kind of the, the search result webgl line is not working our okay how to use your gl line is in step okay i will go to stack overflow site then it said that i he, he changed line is this to 17 but it does not work the question was two there is two answer it is important to note that GL line is with more than other than 1.0 is not guaranteed to work in WebGL spec. So, so OpenGL does not support it because it said that the maximum line is supported must be at least one. It means that if, if the implementation does not support bigger than one, even though they cannot support 2.0, they can pass the OpenGL is 2.0 and WebGL 1.0 components test. So some implementation does not support it. Something maybe different application can support can support it, or some some implementation cannot support it. So we can assure that we can change the line width. Okay, it means that the Chrome implementation maybe in NVIDIA graphic processor does not support changing line width so okay it does not work okay and then we'll test it with line lines and line line st strip okay then right sorry right then reload it Yeah, all lines are connected. Then, final thing is line loop. Okay. Then, the loop will be make, making, will make loop. Good. And then triangles, we already tested it. And then, triangle strip. Let's try triangle strip. Triangle strip. Then, what's that? Why it goes to point? Gel draw away. Gel dot triangle strip. Why it it does not? Yeah, it, I think it is because the gel in gel point size i will remove it and then write it load it oops 
sorry. What's the problem? Okay, let's see. Jill throw away. Jill that try and oh sorry, sorry. Jill throw error and Jill. It means that there is some kind of an error. So I oh, see that there's no error is of code. So Jill try angle angle G is missing. So so. I will undo that geo point size. The point size was not the problem. Okay, so the if we failed this spelling of uh, this number is is failed, then I think it, the zero is used. Zero is zero is for pointers. So if I change it into triangle strip, triangle sorry, go strip, then it will change its shape. Okay. So, yes, triangle strip. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. Yeah. So, and then we can test the triangle fan. Sorry, triangle fan. Then we can get like this. One two three. One two three. One two three. Like this. So we can test it all, all primitive mode. Okay. So with that, we can we can we can make it a more complex shape. We can draw with with a triangle. Okay. So it the changing the the. Complex shape into triangle patch responsibility of uh, the application developer. In in OpenGL ES 3.0 WebGL 2, there is some kind of features to to tessellating. Tessellating is kind of a process to change the complex shape in with uh, triangle patch. For example, uh, if there is uh, some kind of shape like this. Then we can change it into triangles patches. Okay, so like this. Then we can draw this shape with one, two, three, four triangles. Okay, so we call it the triangulation, or sometimes we call it tessellation. Okay, so tessel. Tessellation. I, I cannot remember the, there is two L or one L. Okay. Please find it in dictionary. Okay. Let's learn more about the the primitive assembler processor. Okay. We send we send uh, some some vertex to vertex buffer object and then it goes to vertex uh, vertex shader and then. The output of vertex shader is going to this process. We call we call this process is a component of a primitive assembly. The the main thing of primitive assembly is making pointers, lines, and triangles patches. But after that, there is a, some kind of a process related to uh, clipping, so perspective division, and then viewport transformation. Okay. What is clipping? Clipping is the if, for example, if triangle, we have a screen, and then if triangle in here, you don't have to draw it. So if there is a, some kind of line in here, so we don't have to draw it. Of course, point also. And sometimes the line is in, in here, starting point is here, and end point in here. It must be drawn, okay? So the part of a line should be displayed on the screen. So clipping is checking the 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 primitive is inside or outside of screen, okay? And then second step is perspective division. So we are dealing with the 3D graphics. So coordinate of a vertex shade result is x, y, z. But there is one more. One more element is the W. It is the 
perspective parameters. So the perspective division is making x w y divide with w and n z divide with w. So why I will explain in the transformation. Okay, so so the w w will be naturally it will be zero. So we can think of, we can th we should think about that if w is is zero then it will be it will make a problem yeah in computer science in computer com com computation so divide by zero is always problem so how about that in case of w is is zero then the division is not occurred so if if w is one 0 0.0 then it considered with 1.0 so so xyz original xyz is, con is remaining as a result so okay. okay then then viewport transformation viewport transformation is we did we we set the viewport in our code let's check it okay. in our code where is viewport? Search viewport. Yeah, there is viewport. It means that 0 0.0, 0, 0 the canvas width, can, canvas height. Yeah, it it is kind of a. It is kind of a defining, of a drawing area. So, with this value, then it changed to coordinate system. So. With viewport, then the then all values should be changed into viewport coordinate or normalized coordinate. So sometimes it should be scaled. Sometimes it it will be stretched or scaled down. Then it then uh, then it is sent to rasterization stage. So rasterization is can be done with based on the based on the screen coordinate okay so there is another example so object coordinate is after vertex shader then it goes to to normalize the coordinate normalize uh, after the uh, and then some click coordinate and then so perspective division then it, it goes to normalize device coordinate and then and then before the transformation the window coordinate is the, it is just it is just is generated okay so so but the problem is we cannot control anything in this part so of course it is possible to we can set the viewport but we don't set the, the parameters of viewport to transformation or anything okay so in that case the perspective division of course we can calculate or we can set the w value within vertex shader but it is automatically calculated in vertex shader program so we cannot control it okay so these three processes is is the part of primitive assembly is automatically generated and machine always always process it with defined the viewport or defined the w value and de and calculated w value and and uh, and calculated at the clipping screen size or something so so it is the, the component of it is component of primitive assembly you can say that okay okay drop we will uh, we will um, some review the, the draw primitives okay so draw always in the there is an array then we can set first parameters and then we can draw with count so we can draw only three so mode can be lines pointers line strip line loop the you know, triangles triangle pen triangle strip so if we, it is mode if, if mode is triangles then if the the first item is in here so 
these three vertex will make one triangle. Okay? And then, second thing, draw element is somewhat different. Okay? Draw element is mode, count, and type index. Index is, oh no, index, not index, it is offset. So, it is very similar to the array, but we can set width, width. we can composite the vertex with index, index, okay? So we made, we made the element array to wind up. Sometimes it is very useful. For example, when you're drawing cube, okay? Cube has eight vertexes, so one vertex Six triangles can share than one vertex, okay? For example, like this. And then we divide it. Then, six triangles share one button, vertex. But if we draw with draw arrays, then 36 vertex is needed to draw a cube. It is because one, two, three, one, two, three. If you count it, then there is a, there is a, the so cube is six faces. Six faces must be 12 triangles. And then triangles that has three vertexes, then, then it means that 36 vertexes. Okay? But, if we use draw element, then only we listing eight vertexes. Eight vertexes, and then we can combine that index. So zero, one, two, two, zero, two, three, zero, three, four. Yes, yeah, that kind of combination. Zero, one, two. For example, zero, one, two. It is one triangle, and then zero, two, three, zero, two, three. This is second triangle. We can define like this. So it looks like a saving some kind of a memory because we just send the eight we, we just make eight vertexes so so in that case we can save it looks like same memory but sometimes it is not possible to use this fe this feature for drawing uh, like this for example i i want if we draw with this this scheme then for example, you, you can you can look at this this cube. There is one vertex, but every there are one, two, one, two, three, three, four, five triangles share one vertex, but all triangles have different color. So if we want to give vertex color, then one color cannot uh, cannot display this different color, so this scheme is not working on on this kind of example. Okay, so so don't worry about the memory. So please make this 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 scheme. So list all array and list all attributes of vertex. Memory is huge in GPU, more than GPU, okay? Okay, it, I'll give you homework. Make a cube with draw array scheme, okay? So, uh, homework is making function with create cube function. Its name, function name is create cube. And then we can give size of the cube, the X size, Y size, Z size, and then, then the return value is, of course, return is already returned. Maybe 36 vertex width. And then, I think I, I need to add add more parameters. So, for example, uh, if, if, I, if we want to assign uh, some color or something, then we can set the, can set the, the the color attributes, then the additional, maybe, additional the parameters then we need. For, for example, four component is needed, then one, two, three, four is zero, the component will be added to that. So make it or not, so it, it is your, 
the depend on your so how can you how can you use this array data to draw something so please test it with the draw array command okay this is a homework and after after due date of this homework then I will upload the, the my implementation in next class we will learn the basic of uh, overview basic in next class, we will learn overview of shading language. We need to know the how to programming, how to program shading language to transform or to decide the pixel color. Have a nice day. Bye.